Georgiou with the black peaches. And this was at the Vidmar Memorial, by the way. It was here that uh, Planink really was put on the international map, if you will. This particular game was June 20th, 1969. Yeah, I'm not uh, sure what that exactly meant either, Vertwitch. <laughs> Working class family. Isn't that described most families? Thanks for stopping in, Cara Danalga. And so we have Sicilian's defense, or the Sicilian defense, I should say. <laughs> D6, D4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes pawn, knight F6, knight C3, and the A6 was knight Orf's move. Bishop g5, and this is the so-called Richter-Rauser variation. The laboring class and proletariat. <laughs> so this is, I mean, was that still an issue in the early 1900s? <laughs> Queen to d2, bishop to d7, now we have the modern variation, twitch for fun, joining the party. Castling to the queen side, Morphy was born into quite a different type of family, wasn't he? Knight takes knight, bishop takes knight. Queen to e1. Queen to a5, king to b1. And this move pawn to h6 is the first move unique to this game. Move number 11. And on move 11, the evaluation bar prefers white. Morphe was born into a very different type of family. According to those definitions, he was not a member of the proletarian LOL class. Let's see here. You had the proletarians and the um, something with a B. Um, Da -da 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 the um, ba 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 boo 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 boo. What is it called? Boo something. Boo. What was the other class? The ba -ba boo 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 boo. Well, I'll think of it here in a minute. It'll come to me. It's right on the tip of my brain. <laughs> the monarchy? No, not the monarchy. A 
I'll tell you here in a minute, because I'm going to look it up. Dullet, dullet, dullet. I don't want to read that whole thing. I'll, I'll think of it later. Uh, let's see here. Back to the game. Bishop takes knight. G takes f6. Wikipedia uses the term working class when talking about Albin Planinch. Yeah, I'm guessing most of the, most anything that you find on Wikipedia is probably um, compiled from some other older source. On F4 castles. I don't understand the implication fully of what they mean by working class. Um, and what would be wrong with being part of, I'm part of the working class. But is that to suggest that people of wealth are, don't work? <laughs> Is that the idea, or is it the other way around, that welfare recipients, or is it both? Do you have three classes? Those who are non-working welfare recipients, those who work, and those who are wealthy who do work, but um, there are some that seem to perhaps not work, but right on the coattails of their fathers or mothers. Pawn to e6, rook to h3, pawn to b4, knight to e2, and then the bishop captures the e pawn. Knight d4. Pawn f5 solidifies that bishop in the center of the board. <laughs> One thing I did read on uh, chessgames.com about this guy, I'll read it to you now, is um, that, well, let me find it. That his forte was playing offbeat openings and then letting loose his rich imagination. I thought that was an interesting description. So this beautiful little move here, rook to a3, sends the queen to c5. Bishop takes a6 check, 
And now the king moves his way back toward the center of the board. Rook b3, super attacking the b pawn. Now it's interesting, it wasn't too many moves ago that the evaluation bar was favoring white. But here black is now getting the nod from the evaluation bar. Bishop to g7, looking across the center. Queen takes pawn. Bishop takes knight. Queen takes bishop. And there's a nifty three-way fork. <laughs> wow. King to a1. In this natural-looking move, sends the evaluation bar well into white's favor. I mean, you're threatening a back rank checkmate. What could be wrong with it? Well, but look at all the lines of attack white has. <laughs> you might have wanted to take the other rook. Let's go back a second here. I don't know. It doesn't like that move either, does it? I don't know what the evaluation bar wants here. Perhaps trade queens. Yeah, it likes that better. Well, you give the check first, and then when the king gets out of check, then you take the queen. But black still is favored by the eval bar. But here, check is played. Well, he can't come here, or he's mated. So that only leaves c8 or c6 and c8 doesn't seem likely because of a discovered attack oh man why do we have to have this junk this guy is relentless. He has literally nothing better to do than constantly create abusive login names. Vertwitch, do you uh, know how to use the mod powers? Would you like to mod this channel while you're here? and ban all these trollers. Twitch for fun. Thanks, Twitch for fun. I've been getting bombarded with these trollers all night long. All right, let's see what black chose. He chose c8. Queen takes bishop. Rook to b8. Queen a4 check. King's forced out in front of his pawns. Queen b3 check. 
Now keep in mind the back rank weakness though, you have to keep your opponent's king in check. You can't take advantage of this battery, two attackers, one defender, because of the back rank weakness. So king plays back to c6. As soon as you don't give check, he's going to come down and checkmate you. So he created some luft here instead. Queen a5, and now queen c2 check, forcing the king right back. Oh, that's it, isn't it? Oh, no, he could block. He could block with his queen. Yeah, the king can't come here, though, because if he does, it's checkmate on the next move. So queen c5 is forced. Hey, how you doing, endgame magician? Queen to a4, king back to d5, queen back now, creating that battery, and now there's no threat of a checkmate now that a2 is available, and so... Georgiou resigns here. Because after the king moves, the battery takes over. And you're going to have this. Oh, did I miss a checkmate? Hold on. What did, what did I miss? No, I don't see a mate. Do you see a mate, Eddie? I don't see a mate here. Oh, okay. All right. But, <clears throat> so he's he's going to annihilate those two rooks. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, not, you cut off your defense there. So that was another really nice and interesting game.